Well, hello you guys, it's Mila here. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I've done did it again. I flattened my whole island completely. This is the second time I'm doing this in like three months. So everything is gone. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing island restarts and flattening your whole island. I kind of feel like at this point, I'm almost a pro flattener because I've done this last time in November, I think. Oh my goodness, guys, I need to stop flattening my island, honestly. I swear, this is the last time, I swear. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some pros and cons on flattening or restarting your island. Hopefully this video can help you out deciding if you wanna do something like this yourself or if you've been thinking about which one could be better for you. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel for more Animal Crossing content as well i would appreciate that so so much okay let's get to chatting i think at first we will go through some pros and cons and then i'm going to tell you why i decided to restart or actually flatten my island again you know the holidays kind of came and went now and we are kind of now in this moment in animal crossing that there isn't really anything happening right now we're kind of waiting for the new updates and stuff like that like new new things to do so this might be like a really good time to restart or flatten your island if you're thinking of doing either or or maybe today's video will help you determine if you even want to do e either of these things so let's talk about island restart first and this means that you will restart your whole island from scratch you will delete the whole save file and start a brand new island so obviously one of the biggest things that you will be losing if you restart your whole island is obviously your museum. And you might want to think about this. Do you really want to waste all this hard work that you've been putting into your museum? At least for me, it's one of the reasons why I will never be restarting my island because I don't want to lose my museum. I mean, obviously, if you're really in the beginning of your island and you haven't been really finding any artwork or catching any bugs or fish, yet yeah, then maybe this is not one of the biggest things to consider in case you're thinking of restarting your island but you know if you have a lot of hours if you've been putting in a lot of work to your museum you will lose your artwork and your fish and bug as well. I mean, obviously you can go to treasure islands and such but at least for me I don't really do treasure islands and I don't really time travel to find red either. So, you know, it takes quite a long time to get all these paintings and statues. I mean, I've been given some statues from friends, but yeah, I mean, red doesn't really ever come by the island, to be honest. So, you know, that's going to be one thing to consider. You're gonna lose all your artwork. Okay, so there is still some ways to get back your art collection, but one thing that is keeping me from restarting my island is my bugs and fish section of the museum. I've been working really hard catching all these bugs throughout almost one year now so that is something that is really keeping me from restarting my island completely because I don't want to be losing all my bugs and fish and I'm not gonna be catching them all over again so that is one thing to consider you, you know if you have several hundred hours in the game you probably have been working really hard for your museum so restarting your island means that you're gonna be losing all this hard work Obviously, the next thing that you would also lose if you restart your island is all your items. And maybe this is not that important because you can also catalog a lot of items back. But, you know, it's going to be quite a lot of work. As I said, if you have a lot of hours in the game in your save file, you will have a lot of things already cataloged. And it's going to be a lot of work to catalog all these items back. And, you know, if you're not time traveling, that is especially going to take a really, really long time. I mean, there is always an option to maybe go and draw 
drop some stuff off at a friend's island if you have Nintendo online. So if you have any rare items and stuff like that, you can always go and drop them off at one of your friend's islands for when you restart your game. You know, you can go and take those items back. So there is some ways to work around this in case you want to restart your island and you kind of want to keep some of the items that you have. But you know, it's going to be a lot of work regardless. And obviously one con is also losing all your recipes. I mean, these days people are giving away a lot of extra recipes that they have. But still, you know, if you have several hundred hours you probably have so many recipes that it's going to be quite a waste if you're going to restart your island and start from collecting all these recipes from scratch again at least that is for me it's still quite a lot of work to go and collect all these recipes so that's also one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna completely restart your island that you're gonna lose all your recipes. Also, obviously, one very important thing is your villagers. And depending if you have amiibo cards or not, but you know, you will be losing also all your villagers and all the memories and all the progress that you've been doing with their friendship. This is one thing for me as well. I really don't want my poor little villagers just disappear into the void. And you know, we've been doing a lot of villager hunts on my island lately so you know it's not always a given that you will actually find the villager that you're looking for I've spent so many nook miles tickets finding these villagers from mystery islands so that is one thing from keeping me from completely restarting my island I don't really want to let go of my villagers even though I know I could go and hunt for them again but as we all know from our previous villager hunts it doesn't always mean that you will find your villagers on the mystery islands even if you go and hunt for them so that is one thing to keep in mind you might not find your villagers again or it might take you like hundreds and thousands of tickets before you do and I don't know for me it's like I even if I could find them again they are not these villagers that does that make any sense but I suppose if you are really in the beginning of your game and you don't really have any connection with your villagers it might be easier to make the decision to restart your island if you haven't really caught any of your like dreamy villagers caught I'm talking about my villagers like they are Pokemon. But anyways, if you don't have really any relationship with your villagers yet, or maybe you don't have your dreamings on your island yet, then maybe it's easier to really restart your island. So maybe you can find your dreamings on your next island. So these are probably like the biggest cons of restarting your island. There are a few pros to this as well. So it's not only cons. And probably one of the biggest plus side of restarting your island is obviously choosing a new map. So in case you are like me and when you started this game you didn't really know what was what. You didn't know anything so you just chose a random map that just looked cute. And maybe you chose a map where your resident service building is very very close to your airport. Maybe that is bothering you and that is one of the reasons why you want to restart your island. I mean my resident services is quite close to my airport airport there isn't a lot of space between here to decorate and do stuff there is a little bit but not a lot actually so maybe that is one of the reasons because you know we cannot really change where our resident services is so that is one of the reasons to restart your island if you really really want to move your resident service building of course the other thing is the river mounts we cannot really decide where these things go either so that is the second reason why you would probably want to restart your island if you really don't like the position of your river mouths. Another smaller thing is probably these rocky cliffs on your beach, but I don't I don't know if anyone ever restarted their island because of these, but for me personally, I would really love these to be a little bit bigger. I would love to have a little bit more space here to decorate and stuff like that. I don't really have a lot of space on these rocky cliffs on my island, so I would actually love to have a little bit more space here. I would love to make like a little cafe here. I can make a small cafe on these rocks but I don't really have a lot of space to decorate there so that is one thing to keep in mind as well when you're choosing your map that if you want to make like some sort of cool areas on these rocks here maybe you want to choose an island that has a lot of space on these rocks 
like I would love to make a cool little like stargazing area here but there is like not many tiles here so I cannot really fit anything on these rocks here but I've seen on some maps people have a lot of space on these things. I would honestly love to have a little bit more on mine so that is one thing to keep in mind and also of course the position of your peninsula. My campsite is here right now but yeah in case you want a lot of space here if you have something to maybe something you want to decorate on this part of your island then maybe you want to choose a map that has a lot of space here but that is one of the biggest pros of restarting your island but honestly I don't know you have to kind of wait in if it's really worth losing all the progress with your museum and with your villagers you know I mean my map is not the most per perfect map of all the maps but I still like it for me it's okay and I kind of like the challenge of having the resident service really close. I mean it's not as close as some people have it but you know I kind of have to work my way around it which is kind of fun. I, I kind of like the challenge to be honest. The second pro is of course choosing a new name so in case you gave your island like a really silly name or maybe you gave your character a really weird name then of course if you restart your island you can choose a new name. So that is one thing as well if you want to really rename your island then restarting is the only way to do so. So in my opinion restarting is quite dramatic you will honestly lose a lot of progress if you have a lot of hours in the game it might not be the smartest move you really have to think about it one of the pros actually is that you don't have to do all the work as well so restarting your island is quite easy uh, let's say if you have a lot of flowers around your island it is going to be a lot of work to actually flatten the whole thing and get rid of everything so that might be one thing if your island is very well decorated and full of flowers then maybe restarting might be a better option for you but honestly deflowering your island is not too bad and in case you have a friend who can come and help you out then that is really a good tip as well because your friends can actually come and dig up your flowers and throw them away in case you need some help with that so keep that in mind as well okay let's talk about flattening your island then okay I've done this twice now in less than three months and I must say every time I I do it I'm like why why did I start this process again flattening your island is a good way to start from scratch without actually starting from scratch the only big minus about it is obviously all the work that you have to put in for me it took about three days of flattening my island completely I mean this time around I didn't have too many flowers or decorations around the island and I really took my time so I think I could have actually done all of this in two days but you know I took it quite chill so it took me three days to do this whole work I think also last time when I flattened my island it took me three days it was really a lot of work you guys so you have to be really mentally prepared for it I'm going to really warn you guys about if you've never done that before it can really demotivate you about playing the game it can really make you feel like you don't want to even open your island if I'm really honest at least that's how it felt for me at times so it's also a big decision. Uh, you might want to do it a little bit at a time but for me this was like the new start without a new start so because I don't want to lose my museum I don't want to lose my villagers so flattening my island is the only way to start from scratch without starting from scratch. So yeah I don't know if I can really recommend flattening your island to anyone if you've ever done it you know it's a really a pain in the butt to really do all of this work but for me I kind of like the clean start like starting from the clear table or whatever you say <laughs> I don't know I just love the space the new ideas can come through without any distractions so that is probably the only reason why I like actually flattening my island completely I just you know I need all this space to think about what I want to do with my island next but yeah just keep in mind that in my 
might be really demotivating so you need to be prepared you need to be prepared if you're going to be flattening your island and don't be too harsh on yourself if it takes you more time and if you feel really demotivated at times you know it's okay just take your time and you know do little by little that is the best way to really do it I would only flatten my island if I would really feel like I really, really, really don't like my island. And that is probably one of the reasons why I've also decided to flatten the whole place because I don't know, it was just something about my island that I really did not like, but I couldn't really change it up a little bit. I just needed the fresh start, if you know what I mean. I just needed all this clear space to think about what I want to do with my island and what is it exactly exactly that I want to do. I'm kind of keeping my rock garden though because this this thing takes so much energy and time that I don't think I ever want to do a rock garden ever again. So the rock garden is here to stay. Okay, let's chat about my island for a little bit. Um I restarted my island yet again. Guys, I cannot I have no excuse. We restarted my island a couple of months ago and I was so sure that that would be the last time I would do that, but I don't know. It was something about this new version of the island that I really didn't like. I noticed kind of that everything was kind of scattered around that I kind of gave too much space for a lot of things on my island. So I think this new island that we are now going to start is going to be kind of similar to the one that I had before but I want to make it a little bit more dense. I don't know, it was just something about my island that I just did not like at all and there was no way to work around it. I don't know you guys, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just addicted to restarting my island. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I hope this helps you out and maybe, you know, sometimes you forget all the hard work that you've been doing and you are kind of like tempted to restart your island. But I don't know, if you are like me and you really don't want to lose the progress that you've been doing for the past like one year almost soon maybe give flattening your island a go and have your friends over to help you with the flowers and stuff and yeah that is pretty much it it's going to be a lot of work but you can do it i believe in you and you know just give yourself time don't be too harsh on yourself you don't have to flatten your island in one day like no one can do that that will be so demotivating by the way it will drive you crazy so you know take like three days that is like if you work really kind of like four hours per day or something like that I think three days is enough to like declutter and flatten your whole island you know put on a good movie and don't even look at your island when you are terraforming it what about you guys have you ever flattened your island have you ever restarted your island and why did you do so let me know in the comments down below that is all I have to say about re starting your island I'm really excited to work on mine. To be honest, I think I want to do some decorating videos about this new island. And hopefully this time around, I will be able to actually do everything. I knew I was going to flatten my island again because I wasn't motivated to decorate my island at all. And that's when I knew I knew that was like not the way I wanted my island to look. So I kind of knew this was coming. I knew that the restart was coming. Oh my goodness. So here we are on my empty empty island and yeah let's see how we do this time around I swear this is the last time I'm going to flatten my island this is it I'm not gonna restart and this is going to be our perfect little island I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but anyways you guys I hope you liked today's video yeah let me know if you've ever done restarting or flattening your island yourself or if you're thinking about doing it. I hope that today's video kind of helped you out a little bit to maybe think about stuff that might, you know, might weigh in in your decision to start your island from scratch. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye guys!